Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about parameterized classes. Parameterized classes are same as parameterized modules in the Verilog. Parameters are like constants local to that particular variable class. Parameters are like constants local to that particular class. The parameter values can be used to define a set of attributes in the class. Default values can be overridden by passing a new set of parameters during the instantiation. This is called parameter overriding. So parameters are nothing but these are constants. Parameters are constants and the these constants can be these values can be overridden. These values can be overridden at the time of instantiation. So this is called parameter overriding. Let us see an example. We have a class called packet and this is a parameterized class. This is a parameterized class. The syntax of parameterized class is as follows. Class, class name followed by hash bracket open and here in this in this we are declaring the parameters called addr underscore width and data underscore width these two are parameters addr underscore width and data underscore width these two are parameters these two of in data type and we are assigning the value of addr underscore width is equal to 32 and data underscore width equal to 32 and we are declaring two properties called address and data of bit data type and size of addr underscore width minus one down to zero and data underscore width minus one down to zero that is this address is of 32 minus 1 down to 0 that is 31 down to 0 and data is of 31 down to 0. So here addr underscore width is a parameter and data underscore width is a parameter and address and data are of 32 bit. And within a function new we are assigning the value of address is equal to 10 and data equal to 20 and data equal to 20. We are ending the function in class and here we are creating a handle for the class packet and this handle has default add underscore width and data underscore width values that is it has 32 add underscore width has the value of 32 and data underscore width has the value of 32 at the time of instantiating if we want to modify the value of add underscore width and data underscore width the syntax is as follows packet hash if we want to modify the value of add and underscore width to 64 we can write like this 64 comma data underscore width to 64 we can write like this followed by handle name pkt so the value of addr underscore width and data underscore width will be modified so the address will become 64 bit data type The, so the address is of size 64 bit and data will be of size 64. So like this we can modify the parameters. Next, pass a data type to a class. For suppose we have taken a class called packet. This class is a parameterized class and we have a parameter type t which is equal to int. Here we are declaring two properties called address and data of t type t is of int type so address is of int type and data is of int type here within a function new we are assigning the value of address and data and we are ending the function in class and we are declaring a handle for the class packet and address and data type is of int if we want to modify the data type of address and data we are overriding like this packet hash bit 31 down to 0 pkt so this t will be 
of bit 31 down to 0 that is this address will be of 31 down to 0 of bit type and data will be equal to 31 down to 0 bit data type like this we are modifying the data type of address and data using a parameterized class while in the time of instantiating so that is all about parameterized classes thank you for watching this video